good to see you smiling despite the bad news you've had regarding Harry Kane. That's life, that's football. Of course, bad news, but we have to be positive and we have to look also to the good news. And good news are uh, that before the end of the month, we have two new players, Lloris and Ben Davis. And these are good news. Uh, Lloris never played a game for me. Uh, ben played one and very, very well in a system that we were trying to develop and was only possible with um, with him because he's the one left back that that can play in that inside position because of course Danny Rose is a, a pure left back and Jan Vertonghen is not even left back and Ryan Sessegnon is learning how to be a left back so Ben was very important for um, for our project but then he disappeared after, after West Ham. So it's good news. Uh, by the end of the month, we have these two new players. But of course, uh, Harry is important, is irreplaceable. Uh, there is no player that can replace Harry Kane. And Musa was playing so, so well with, with us. Also, since I arrived, I think one of our best performers. And, uh, you know, the bad news is that um, it's not something like, OK, a couple of weeks and they are back. It's not a couple of weeks and they are back. It's, uh, it's surgery and uh, a long, long time. But uh, I think I never spoke about Lloris in my first two months in here. And if you allow me, I don't know if you are going to allow me, but if you allow me, I would like not to speak about Harry Kane and Musa Sissoko until they are back. So let's try to speak about them everything today, because I know that you are desperate to speak about them. How much of a boost would it be to have world class, world cup news goalkeeper back? Maybe that's a new bit done well for you, but would that be a real boost? It's very important. Uh, captain with Harry. We lose one, it's nice to recover the last one. Experience, the way he plays speaking, because I think it's very, very important for a goalkeeper to play at the same time he speaks. But you are right, we, we have uh, a goalkeeper that is doing his, uh, his best and uh, we have confidence on, on him. But for Hugo to be back after such an important injury is good. And at the same time, for the medical department, opens some space for them. Uh, some people is leaving the medical room, some people is, is coming. Is there a, an area in the medical department that has a plate saying Hugo Lloris? Uh, because he's there every day for the past three months. So one out, others in. And I, I know, I know you want to speak about Harry and uh, it's normal that everybody wants to speak. I don't want to speak because if I speak too much, I get a bit depressed. And then you are going to say that I am miserable and depressed and uh, in a bad mood. So it's better, it's better to speak about things that make me laugh. Something else that might put you in a, in a bad mood in Dombele, any news on him? He's not playing tomorrow. <laughs> He's not playing tomorrow. So the news are not... Uh, are not positive because what we are focused is on the game tomorrow. I know that I know that football doesn't end tomorrow. I know that Tuesday we have a very important game for the Cup. I know that Saturday we have a very important game for the Premier League again. I know that it's coming uh, Champions League in a couple of months, but uh, the focus is on is on tomorrow and for tomorrow we don't recover any player from the injury list that we had. I know you're not a big user of this January transfer window historically, and I know the public said they prefer not to dip into the market, but does the situation about these who shall not be mentioned change that at all? 
You are a good guy, but I knew that the question was was coming from you or from somebody else. Um, you know, it's not me. I think even even the the coaches without injuries, even the coaches without problems in the squad, even the coaches with the best squads, with let's say for example Jurgen, even Jurgen with the best team, with amazing players and amazing squads, he was happy to do a new player. So we are all the same. But the reality is that uh, when I came here two months ago, I knew the situation. I didn't, I didn't knew that, of course, I was going to lose Harry and Musa for so long. But I knew that the situation was about to try uh, to get the best out of uh, of the players that we have, and that doesn't doesn't change. Uh, so I'm focused on on the work. I'm focused on the game tomorrow. If the boss arrives with a solution that can help us uh, to face these difficult uh, months that we are going to have ahead of us, then then be it. Then welcome. But if we don't find the right solution, the right opportunity, then we are going to wait for uh, for the next uh, summer uh, to try to to make the right decisions for um, the evolution of um, of the team. So let's wait calm. But in this moment, my my focus is total on on the players that we have um, available. That's the way it is.